hello all let us learn about uh, the specifications and uh, applications of aluminum electrolytic capacitor aluminum electrolytic capacitors are uh, pretty commonly used capacitors in embedded circuits so one of the biggest advantage of this is the high um, energy density of these capacitors where you get capacitors of high values capacitance values basically um, and that is the reason why you generally see them uh, used near uh, the power supplies uh, of uh, uh, circuits like modems like example if you have a uh, 3g modem 4g modem for your commercial application near the uh, power supply this capacitor is suggested to be used because it has high energy density and any spike that comes up um, is easily handled by this uh, high value capacitor. The important point about this capacitor is it uses uh, aluminum oxide as the dielectric and uh, it is a polarized capacitor. That is the biggest uh, <coughs> feature of this particular electrolytic capacitor where you cannot use this capacitor in reverse that means uh, uh, as this is a polarized capacitor you cannot uh, uh, connect positive to the negative terminal of the capacitor which might cause uh, the capacitor to burst uh, and uh, the disadvantage uh, side of these capacitors is they have a high um, series resistance effective series resistance which uh, uh, actually leads to uh, more uh, energy loss definitely there is loss uh, there is also uh, leakage current temperature stability is lesser so you see these capacitors being used more uh, towards less than 85 degrees or 105 degrees so uh, the temperature stability of these is lesser uh, what do you mean by temperature stability is the uv have this uh, um, variation of capacitance with the temperature that's the biggest disadvantage and then if you see this uh, figure um, it shows 2200 microfarad 25 volts electrolytic this is electrolytic capacitor so um, the voltage applied to this capacitor should not exceed the voltage um, beyond uh, this rating Any um, over voltage that is applied can cause the electrolytic capacitor to burst biggest uh, um, concern with these capacitors and uh, we see many of these uh, burning out on our uh, older motherboards or any other embedded boards that we um, design and then Another biggest disadvantage with these is the poor tolerance uh, value. So there is a lot of uh, capacitance variation that is seen um, and ultimately the lifetime of these capacitors is lesser compared to uh, other capacitors. Um, and uh, as we see here, we have SMD version of these aluminum electrolytic capacitors and the through hole version of uh, uh, electrolytic capacitors. and um, Common applications that we see are, uh, as we said, uh, energy storage. Um, they act as banks near these uh, um, sudden surge currents that are required. Uh, and then uh, they also act as uh, filtering uh, the noise filters, uh, which helps to sync the AC and have a pure DC. So this can be used only for DC applications uh, because of their polarity. And then, um, in audios also we see them being used uh, uh, for coupling even though <coughs> the plastic uh, film capacitors are uh, uh, the preferred choice there we also see um, these polarized uh, aluminum electrolytic capacitors being used uh, for coupling in audio circuits uh, overall um, we commonly see these used in applications right if you have faced issues if you have seen different concerns with these uh, electrolytic capacitors please post in our comments please let us know if you have any questions thank you